See, I've been trying to start a new business for a long time outside of this trading thing, of course, because I realized every single business has cycles. There's certain cycles in trading when you'll notice that you make a lot of gains and then just sometimes, some weeks or months, you're down. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but most of the guys who are really wealthy have more than just one source of income. Yeah, trading is one of my sources of income, but it's very important for me to establish more than just one. My goal, at least by this time next year, by let's see, August 2017, is to establish at least, at the very minimum, three solid sources of income. Now, I don't know exactly what my new business is gonna be all about, but the book I just finished reading, $100 Startup, has inspired me to start my own business. Hands down, one of my favorite reads so far. The author interviewed a whole bunch of people and discovered that majority of these people started their businesses with just under $700. Now, 700 US dollars in America might not seem like a lot of money, but in other countries, shout out to my fans out there in South Africa, $700 is a lot of money. What I got out of that book is that you don't always have to borrow money and get into debt to start a new business. You can start small. That's the whole concept of the $100 startup. Not every business, obviously, is possible to start with just $100, but the concept speaks in general. So check out that book. It's a really good read. I got the audio version and I finished that book in about three days. My journey now is gonna include uh, me starting my own business. So, this video, this episode, is officially sponsored by my new business, my $100 startup. So a great book to go along with a $100 startup is The Magic of Thinking Big by David Schwartz. That's another must read. If you read those two books, you'll be so inspired, you'll be so pumped to start your own business. Now I wanna start a small business and the challenge is, I don't wanna spend more than $1,000 to get it off the ground. What that means is, I don't plan on investing more than $1,000 till I turn a profit. Very simple, that's my challenge. Now, I don't know if that's possible, but I believe I can do it. And if I can do it, that means I'm gonna inspire one of you guys to try it out.
dawned on me. God is not a college professor. He doesn't just hand out May goods on life. Once I'm dead, that's it. I only have one shot at it. Just one. I'm gonna make it count. And if I can spy one of you guys, it means a lot to me. Anything else I plan on doing, I'm gonna make it count. I realize this. It just dawned on me. Holy shit. God doesn't give up make goods on life. Wow. I'm not gonna lie, I hate Times Square. It's crowded, it stinks, there are too many people. The reason why I'm here is because I know for a fact there's some kid out there in Africa who will give up a left foot to be in my shoes. I guess, in some ways, this is a message to my 18-year-old self, that ambitious young version of myself, I'm not gonna let you down. I'm not going to let you down. You know, coming from Africa has given me so much perspective in life. I've seen real struggle. And as such, I take advantage of every single opportunity that I get. Like I said before, there's some kid out there who's probably watching this and will give up a left foot to be in my shoes. I'm gonna make him or her live vicariously through me. So, again, my 18 year old self, we're gonna make it. We're definitely gonna make it, man. And it feels great. You know what? I recall when I was 18 in high school, this was all just a dream. And I'm gonna take advantage of it, full advantage. Dear 18 year old me, remember when you got an F in chemistry? That shit doesn't really matter. Stay not giving a fuck. And stay the course. Because you're gonna discover trading and so much more. And your life is gonna be amazing. So just stay the course. Dear 16 year old me, I know it's hard, having no game, can't even convince a girl to go out with you, it's okay, things are gonna change, you're gonna figure it out, everything is gonna be alright man. <laughs>